Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1969 Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Today's matchup features the Seattle Pilots versus the Kansas City Royals at Municipal Stadium. On the mound for the Pilots today is Bob Meyer, whose record is 4-7 with a 4.55 ERA. And pitching for the Royals today is Dave Moorhead, whose record is 10-10 with a 4.72 ERA. Well, yesterday we had the most lopsided victory of the season. We won 13 to nothing. Um, there were seven errors in the game combined, uh, with the Royals having six of them. It was, it was a disaster. Uh, I mean, I love the win, and I love that we had our 13th shutout of the season, but it's so frustrating uh, to win in that r way. Um, I, I mean, I absolutely love to have blowouts. I... I I have as much joy for one-sided victories as I do for one-run wi one wins. But um, when your opponent is getting, you know, six errors, it's it's just not, doesn't feel good, you know. Um, the interesting thing, I think, is that we've closed our run differential to just 10 runs. Um, and we've upped our batting average to 233. We're at 229 uh, for quite a while there. Uh, so we're improving. We've had a couple of our scrubs start hitting, which is great. All, everything seemed to be going right for us. And then we suffered the worst injury of the season. Gene Brabender, our ace, our all-star, uh, is injured for 24 days. He's going to miss essentially three weeks of uh, the next month coming up. And, you know, that probably will do it for us. I mean, I, I hate to be pessimistic but any chance that we had of making a run ended with gene brabender and yes we could make a trade there's still five days left before the end of the trade deadline but our uh payroll um is very low because we don't have a lot of income um because of only having 7500 seats in our stadium we're projected to lose money we're going to finish you know uh, in, in the positive but uh, yeah, we are, we're not going to make a trade for another pitcher. We did call up Dick Bates, <laughs> one of my favorite names, to take over our number five uh, spot in the rotation. Um, and unfortunately, uh, we're going to have to use him a few times, uh, the, you know, in the next three weeks. So, um, okay, let's go ahead and get started with today's game. As always, I appreciate everyone following along like and or subscribe to the channel. I've already made four videos today. I made two shorts, which are like a, um, a cheat sheet for the other two videos. I made a video um, for a, a 2022 Tops Update hanger box where I absolutely crushed it. We got so many great cards in there. I'll just show you one right here. I'll show you, I mean, there's, there's probably five cards better than this one but i pulled a garrett cooper green sunburst card number to 499 i don't know if you can see that or not um that's like the fifth best card i pulled in that box so check that out i also did a um, i got this where i um got uh, six ricky henderson cards and one of them here's the um 1981 uh, Donris Ricky Henderson uh, but one of the cards was one that I was originally going to give away uh, my uh, intention was to give it away instead of the uh, Dave Roberts tops contract that is on its way now we should have that in a couple of days I think it said Tuesday the 23rd so when I get that I'll show that to you guys that's for the uh, San Diego Padres contest and I still might give away the uh, the Ricky Henderson card that you could check out in the other video uh, anyway, uh, Bob Meyer on the mound today. Wow, current Royals batting only 231 against him. Uh, here is our bullpen. They're all available. There's Dick Bates. He did not do well. He gave up eight home runs in 16 and a third innings as a reliever this year. That's pretty bad. Here's our lineup versus D Dave Moorhead. He's a right-hander. Um, it's our lineup in there versus righties. I think it's the same lineup as yesterday with the exception of us giving Jerry May his first start of the season for us since the trade. 
uh, from the Pirates. That's what he looks like. He was batting 341 before coming over here. And he's been down in AAA uh, doing pretty well, batting 290. So uh, I think he's a fair replacement for Merritt Renu. Uh, was there anybody else? Oh, uh, Van Kelly will start at second base today. We're giving uh, Gary Sutherland another day off. Okay. Let's go ahead and do the official lineup rundown for the Pilots. Batting leadoff in left field is Lou Pinella. Batting second at first base is Mike Hegan. Batting third in right field is Joe Pepitone. Batting cleanup playing center field is Tommy Ag. Batting fifth and catching is Jerry May. Batting sixth at second base is Van Kelly. Batting seventh at third base is Don Kessinger. Batting eighth at shortstop is Freddie Patek. And batting ninth is the pitcher Bob Meyer. Let's take a look at Dave Moorhead here. He's making his 25th start already this season. Uh, he was on Boston last year. He's 10 and 10 with a 4.72 ERA, not doing so hot. 125 strikeouts in 164 innings pitched. He's given up 16 home runs and he's walked 96 twice in his career. He's walked over 100 without even getting to 200 innings pitched. That's not great. Uh, a couple of games, he has three. His fastball does top out at 95 miles an hour. That's pretty solid. Rated an 88. He's a one-pitch pitcher, really. Overall, a 79, the 25-year-old righty. Goes to arbitration at the end of the year. Have we faced him this year? Let's look at his log and find out. Seattle Pilots, yes, way back on April 30th, he went eight innings, giving up only one run, and he got the victory. So he's handled us. It is one start. Let's take a look at their defense. Pretty solid all the way around. Uh, behind the plate today is Tony Taylor. Uh, he's not well rated. And of course, we know they have uh, Nicholson out there in the left. He made two of the errors yesterday. Oh, and Harper is out there in right field. So yeah, defensively, they are actually... Infield is great. Outfield and catcher is poor. Tony Taylor, what is his arm? It's a 75 in case we feel like running a little bit today. Okay, here's Lou Pinella leading off versus Dave Moorhead. Getting his first cut against his old teammate. Ground ball to second. Play made by Jerry Adair. One out. Next up is Mike Hegan. And he strikes out swinging. Maybe the check swing. I want to say that because we won 13 to nothing yesterday, the Royals are probably going to bounce back and beat us pretty badly today. Pepitone base hit in the right field, getting his average back up over 300. There's our first base runner, Tommy Agee, up now. Agee's been in a little bit of a home run slump, sitting on 16 homers. Flipping it to right center field. Is that going to fall in in front of Harper? No, he's going to make the catch. Sure, he makes the catch against us. We go to the bottom of the first. Let's take a look at the Royals lineup rundown. It's a little mixed up from yesterday. Batting leadoff playing center field is Scott Northey. Batting second at third base is Joe Foy. Batting third in right field is Tommy Harper. Batting cleanup. In left field is Dave Nicholson. Batting fifth and catching is Hawk Taylor. Batting sixth at first base is Chuck Harrison. Batting seventh at second base is Jerry Adair. Batting eighth at shortstop is Jackie Hernandez. And batting ninth is the pitcher Moorhead. Okay, Bob Meyer, man, he's due to have a good game, right? I mean, he's had a couple bummers in a row. He's made 21 starts this year. He's 4-7 with a 455 ERA, 83 strikeouts and 99 innings pitched. Uh, he's walked 59, not great. Opponents are betting 263 against him. His fastball tops out at 97, we know that, and it's rated at 95. So he is also a one-pitch pitcher. Overall at 80, the 29-year-old lefty arbitration eligible next year. Has he faced the Royals? Look at his log. I'll tell you everything you need to know. May 1st. He got the win, going six innings, giving up two runs on eight hits. No walks, that is the key. 
and that is the only start he has. Okay, well, let's take a look at our defense for today. Um, solid everywhere. It is weird, though, because we have Kelly at second, who's normally a third baseman. We have Kessinger at third, who's normally a shortstop. Um, so a couple players not in their normal position, but we have Jerry May behind the plate, and he's an 87 rating with a 88 arm. So don't you even dare try to run on him. Here's Scott Northey leading off against Bobby Meyer. 0-1 count to Meyer. Line drive to center. A.G. making the catch. One down. Joe Foy up next. Foy's got a home run in his career versus Meyer. He also made two errors yesterday. Ground ball to second. Kelly tossing him out. Two quick outs, and here is former pilot Tommy Harper. You may have noticed he was three for 14 since coming over here. And he strikes out. Meyer gets the best of him. We go to the top of the second inning with Jerry May. Leading off first at bat as a pilot. Batting 341 with one home run in the National League and a base hit up the middle. Good job by May. Leadoff man is on, not a lot of speed. Van Kelly up. Kelly's average hovering around 200, three home runs. Hits it to center field where Northey tracks it down. One out, runner on first. Here is Don Kessinger, the hottest hitter on the team. Look at his log. He's batting 230 in his last 20 games. What we're talking about is last five games here. He's got 10 hits in five games. And you've seen his average jump from 142 to 186. I know that seems paltry, but actually he's crushing it. Let's see if he's got another one in him here. 0-1 count for Moorhead. Popping it up on the infield. Adair making the catch at second. Two down. Another hitter that's doing well lately, Freddie Patek. Full count. They walk him. First and second for Bob Meyer. Meyer betting 077. He's got a double this year. He's capable. And he crushes it to center field. That's about as deep as a pitcher can go right there. 394 feet. We'll leave two runners stranded, go to the bottom of the second. Here's Dave Nicholson leading off. Nicholson, left fielder, as I mentioned, had two errors in yesterday's ballgame. And I believe, what, six of the 13 runs were unearned? He pops out for Hawk Taylor, catching today versus the left-hander. And there's the first hit of the game for the Royals with Cheese. Runner on first for the first baseman, Chuck Harrison, another platoon player. He's batting 324 versus lefties. Is that a line drive or a ground ball to short? It's a line out. Taylor gets back to first. Two down, here is Jerry Adair, also platooning at second. Popping it up on the infield in foul ground on the first base side. And that will do it. We're going to the top of the third game, moving along. Back to the top of the lineup with Lou Pinella. Pinella strikes out. Man, he had that hot streak, but he went one for six yesterday, I believe. And uh, his average is starting to drop. Mike Hegan gets into it with a base hit all the way to the wall. A double. For Mike Hegan, that is his 10th double of the year. So he's in double digits. He's played, I mean, he's played 70% of the season. Um, and he finally reached double digits. Okay. Runner in scoring position. Here's Joe Pepitone. Pepitone had a base hit the first time up. He's two for two in his career versus Moorhead. He goes to left. Get down. It is a base hit. Hegan will score. It's 1-0. Pilots, RBI single for Pepitone. Runner on first, Tommy Ag. We're going to let him take a cut. Ag does not hit righties well. 
Um, we just let him play because he's probably the best player we have now. Um, so we let him play versus both. Normally, I, you know, if I, if I were going to platoon him, I'd probably bring in Don Bosch, who maybe doesn't hit as even as well as his average, but, um, but he's much better defensively. There's a ground ball from May to first, and that'll do it. So we do get on the board. It's one nothing Pilots as the number eight hitter Jackie Hernandez leads off. Two one count to Hernandez, and a ground ball base hit just gets past the shortstop Patek. So leadoff man is on. Uh, obviously, we have to pull the corners in. Moorhead should be laying down a bunt. Not a bad hitter. He's batting one eighteen. If you can get over 100 in this game, that is good for a pitcher. Pops it up, and a wasted opportunity. Could not get the sack bunt down. Runner on first, that's Hernandez. He should be running on this pitch as Scott Northey steps in. He's going, and he is safe at second, so it's almost like they don't consider, like when, you know, when we're considering stealing a base, if a catcher had an 88 arm, I probably wouldn't send someone with an 86 speed. I mean, it's very good speed. It's, a, it's above average, but it's probably not worth the risk if you're down a run. I mean, it's only a one run. Um, but he's in scoring position for Scott Northey. And he steals third. So, I mean, there's nothing we can do now to stop it. We're going to pull the infield in. Um, because if it gets a base hit and it gets through, it's no harm done. 0-2 count to Northey. And he does hit a fly ball to center. Will it be deep enough? It is. It's tight at one. Yeah, I mean, that should never have happened. With an 88 arm, a guy with an 86 speed stealing second and third like it was nothing. The ratings mean nothing in this game. We, we've already made that decision, but... Um, I don't know. That's just the way it is. What can we do? Van Kelly strikes out. Moorhead has four strikeouts so far. Here's Don Kessinger looking to keep his hit streak alive. A comebacker to the pitcher. Two outs. Here's Freddie Patek. Oh, he gaps it all the way to the wall. Let's get three. Oh, he holds it second. That is his fifth double as a pilot, seventh overall this year, combined with Pittsburgh. Runner on second, Bob Meyer. They now, last time Patek walked to get to Meyer, this time he doubled to get to Meyer. So it's two down. There's nothing we can do. Ground ball to second. We go to the bottom of the fourth. It's all tied at one. Tommy Harper leading off. Harper struck out the first time up. Whoa, he was trying to bunt for a hit? I have never seen that. The, the computer AI intentionally tried to bunt for a hit. And Harper struck out for the second time today. Both of the uh, strikeouts by Meyer are Tommy Harper. So that's that was crazy. And also, I'm impressed. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Meyer as Hawk Taylor goes down. I'm sorry, Dave Nicholson, I mean, and Hawk Taylor gets a hit. Don't be Smirch's name. That's, he's two for two today. Will this be another two-out rally? Um, I don't think he's going to be stealing second and third here. Yeah, it's going to be another rally. So there's the walk. There's nothing we can do. Just get it over with. That's going to fall in for a hit. That's going to make it two to one. Yep, I mean, there's nothing we can do, so you just got to get through it. He gets hit by a pitch. That'll bring up the pitcher. So we got baseball mogul bingo going. And that'll end it. So the Royals take the lead. Bob Meyer cannot pitch good enough to get a victory, ever. Um, or to even get to the sixth inning, technically. And Dave Moorhead somehow is Cy Young. As Pinella pops out, 
Both pitchers, keep in mind, are one-pitch pitchers. Two quick outs for Moorhead. And a base hit for Pepitone. He's four for four in his career versus Moorhead. It doesn't matter, though. We don't get the two-out rallies. They do. Yep, ground ball to second. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Oh, an error on the second baseman, Adair. Are they trying to give it to us here? Uh, wow, that is seven errors in two ball games for the Royals. And May gets a base hit to the left. That'll score Pepitone. It is two all. And so, yeah, we do get the two out rally right back. Let's see if we can turn the mogul on. AG goes to third with his blazing speed. Good job by May in his first game. First and third, two down. And Moorhead serves it up for Kelly. I mean, that was a fat pitch. but He grounds out to first, and the game is tied. Going to the bottom of the fifth. It's the top of the lineup. Looks like they're all righties in there. If we um, can just get through one more inning with Meyer, we'll bring in a righty reliever and maybe uh, turn the tables here. Okay, here's Scott Northey leading off. Yeah, walk. Well, so, I mean, I should pull him out right now. This is not going to go well. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. We already know it's over if we don't pull him out of there. It might be over anyway. We're going to bring in Pedro Ramos uh, as a long reliever here. He's got a 49 endurance, so we can go four innings if we needed them to. Um, now, will Northy be running here? That is the question. Here's Joe Foy. Foy's two for two in a walk against Pedro. Ground ball to second. Let's turn two. Come on, we can do it. No, we cannot. The go-ahead run is on second. That run is going to be scoring here in just a moment. Yep, so... There's nothing you can do when the game wants to do it. Um, we gave up that walk. I should never have let Meyer go back out there, even though he's a starting pitcher. But we knew, I mean, it happens every time. There's a fly ball. Is that going to be up against the wall? Oh, it's going to be caught. Oh, it said foul out. Um, yeah, I guess I had a bad angle there. Okay, two down. Here's Hawk Taylor. Hawk Taylor's unstoppable today. Harper steals second. I have no idea why they're running at will. I mean, they stole the first two bases off a left-hander. We didn't even note that. And Taylor. Ground ball to third. There we go. So we give up the lead. It's 3-2. to two. The loss is being hung on Bob Meyer at this point. We go to the top of the sixth inning. Moorhead at 96 pitches. With Kessinger up. He's got the hit streak going right now. It's a deep fly ball to left center field. It will be caught. One down. Here's Freddie Patek. Patek base hit to left. He's two for two with a walk today. He had the double and the um, uh, single there. Now... Now, watch. We're going to try to steal here. It's a 79%. Uh, we already said Taylor has a bad arm. 13 points less than our catcher, who's 0 for 3 today with stolen bases. Let's see if Patek can steal. He does. Good job by Patek. He's now 4 for 11 in a pilot's uniform, though. It was 8 and... Eight for eight for the Pirates. Runner in scoring possession. Um, and now they were before they had the infield in. Now they do not. So I'm definitely going to drop it down. I'm going to drop it like it's hot. 1-0 count. He pops it up. Turnabout, fair play. They did as well. That'll leave it up to Lou to get the run in. I'd love to see him jack it here against his old team. I mean, a home run, that is. One-two count. He can't even take the bat off his shoulder. Well, that, I mean, that's, that, that's all you need to know right there. I mean, if we can't come through in that situation against Dave Moorhead, this game is, is a done deal. 
will send Ramos out for a second inning, which is always bad. Uh, he gives up a hit to Harrison. Here's Jerry Adair. Striking out. Okay. One down. Jackie Hernandez is up. And they'll get hit. Oh, no. Nope. Ground ball in the hole. It's short. They do get the force at second. And Dave Moorhead will bat. He's already pitched six innings, but yet <laughs> they won't pitch it for him here. He will be swinging. Oh, fuck you. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The pitchers only get doubles in this game. They never get hits. Uh, singles. That is so stupid. He's got four doubles this year. And it's 4-2. to two. This is the worst game ever made. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's 4-2 Royals. Here's Mike Keegan. Keegan pops it up. Keegan pops it up, and Moorhead gets doubles. Pepitone walks. Here's Tommy Agee. Well, I don't know what happened there. Fly out to center. Two down, runner on first is Jerry May. Ground ball to short. Moorhead officially tired, but we know that means nothing. Ramos out for his third inning. Doesn't really matter how many we let him pitch. There's another base hit. Oh, it's going to be caught by A.G. Man, those are like guaranteed duck snort base hits. Harper with a ground ball to third. And Dave Nicholson. Striking up. We're going to the eighth. Morehead is tired. We have a chance here. In theory, to rally. Nope. A weak ground ball to second. One out. Here's Kessinger. Last chance today for him to get a base hit. Keep his hit streak alive. Nope. Or, yeah, I guess, he, well, I can't tell. I guess it was a base hit just past the shortstop. So the Kessinger hit streak is up to six games. All right. Um, are they going to do something like a walk to get to the pitcher here? Yep. They always do. So <laughs> this game is so predictable in its stupidity. Um, all right. We're going to take out Ramos. We have so many good bats on the bench. Let's see. Who hits righties best? I mean, you know, like in theory, I should bring in Don Bosch because he would at least bat left-handed. But Darren Johnson is batting 271. Um, and I think with one swing of the bat to get us the lead. So we're going to try that. Um, also, there's only one down. So I'll, I'll take a little rally going here. I mean, Moorhead's up to 132 pitches. Let's see how it goes. 1-1 one, one count. Is that going to fall in for a hit? It does. Great job by Johnson. Pinch hitters always get hits. A run scores, and it is four to three. We will hit and run with Lou. He's got a 91 contact. He hits and runs as good as anybody. Keeping more head in the game. This is our one shot to tie it up. And a base hit to center field. Potek scores. Johnson goes to third, and we have a chance to take the lead we're going to take Johnson out and pinch run where is it 86 right 84 Sutherland's not fast and the catcher's not fast so it has to be Bosch Bosch coming in to pinch run Speed of 89. We're going to go on contact. Here we go. 
As long as Higa doesn't strike out or pop it up. 2-1 count. Ground ball to third. Going on contact. Bosch is out at the plate. They walk Pepitone to get the AG. 147 pitches. Somebody help that pitcher. Somebody call HR. This is wrong. He is being abused out there. Tommy AG. He can be the hero of the night right here. 1 0 count. Did he get it all? Grand slam, Tommy AG. Oh my God. Finally, they show mercy. They take him out. It's one pitch too late as AG hits a grand slam into the center field bleachers. It is 8 to 4. Wow. Here's Tom Bergmeier. Um, all you need to know is he's a little too late to this ballgame. Bergmeier has such a long career in the majors. He pitched until, I think, 81 or 82. So he's got a long way to go in his career. Here's Jerry May. The drama is over. As um, Pedro Ramos, what a good job by him. Locking it down. I think we're going to put Bosch in the outfield. We're going to put him in right. Take out Pepitone. Pepitone had a good game. Actually, I think we're going to put Bosch in center and move AG to right. That's what we're going to do. Bosch has more range. Okay. And we're going to bring in the pitcher. It's going to be Diego Segui, which is a risky proposition because he has been pretty rough lately. <coughs> Excuse me. 41st game in relief. Check out the numbers there. 42 strikeouts in 51 and two-thirds. My opponents are only batting 228 against him. So he hasn't been terrible. He's got Hawk Taylor. Chuck Harrison, Jerry Adair coming up. Here's Taylor. He's been pretty tough to... Yeah, I think he's four for four now. Oh, he was out! Thrown out by the left fielder, Pinella. He knows the speed of Hawk Taylor. Well, that was a gutsy move down four. That's a, No, gutsy's the wrong word. It's actually stupid. That was a stupid, stupid move. And um, we'll take the, the free out. And then another hit. So, oh, we were going to take a look at the in-game stats. Yeah, Hawk Taylor is three for four. That's Harrison's second hit. Uh, I have a feeling they're going to get some junk runs here. They usually do. There's a fly ball to center. Bosch making the catch. Two down for the light-hitting Jackie Hernandez. Ground ball to short. And that'll do it. We go to the top of the ninth inning. Van Kelly leading off. Lefty on lefty here. That's something Van Kelly does not do well. Betting 063. And a ground ball to second. Kelly goes 0 for 5 today. Well, and what do you know? Kessinger going to get another opportunity here for a hit. Oh, wait. What happened there? Pounded into the dirt for the home plate. Catcher Taylor making the play. Good job by Taylor. And Freddie Potek, two for two. He has a double, a walk, and a stolen base. Hits it to dead center. That's going to fall short, though, on the warning track for out number three. A one, two, three inning. We go to the ninth inning. And um, I guess we'll let Diego Segui pitch another inning here. We're up four runs. If he gives up a run, we'll bring in Marshall. George Spriggs, pinch hitting. He's a left-hander. Full count. Ground ball up the middle, and it sneaks through for a hit. What a surprise. A pinch hitter getting a hit every single time. And another hit. So this will give up the first run. Oh, Spriggs stops with a 94 speed. They have a catcher go for two bases, but the a guy with the 94 speed stops the second. <laughs> this is the worst game, 
the worst logic game I've ever played. There's a fly ball to right. It will be caught by A.G. Spriggs will tag and go to third. Now, Tommy Harper, one swing of the bat here, can make it interesting. He's certainly more than capable. Popping it up, just barely got his bat on it with two strikes. Popping it up to short. Patek makes the catch. We're down to the final out. I still think they're going to allow him to get one junk run here. Oh, yeah, they'll walk him, of course. That'll bring up Hawk Taylor, the best hitter on the team. Bases are loaded. One swing of the bat will tie it up. That would be fun. 2-2 two -two count to Taylor. And he takes strike three looking. That's the ball game. Pilots win 8-4. to four. Handshakes, butt slaps, sloppy steaks. We might even go out for some barbecue, some Kansas City barbecue. All right. Uh, let's take a look at the standings. Sitting at five and a half back, 52 and 48. Looking at the National League, um, San Diego has uh, 27 wins. I don't know if I mentioned it in this or a different video, uh, but that Dave Roberts uh, tops contract is on its way right now. So when it gets here, I'll do a video and, and show you what that looks like. Uh, we still have that contest going on for the San Diego wins. Let's take a look at headline news. Brainiac Baseball Daily Beat. Oakland stretches its lead to two and a half. Reggie Jackson went three for five with a double, a dong, and four RBI. Sal Bando had a good day. Tommy Reynolds had a couple walks. Uh, AG gets four RBI. Oh, it's a, he had a grand slam. Why do you have to make it so difficult? Um, it was a home run, run score for it, yeah. I don't, yeah, he might be the uh, player of the game. Uh, Freddie Patek had a good game, too. Tommy Agee mentioned three times in three different ways. St. Louis, oh, a big, big trade. The Cardinals and Reds agree to a four-player four deal that will send reliever Charlie Hudson, right fielder Jim Dwyer, and reliever Tim Plodinick to Cincinnati for Dave Concepcion. Wow. Okay, we'll take a look at that here with the transactions. Um, okay, yeah, here we go. So Dave Concepcion, a big part of the big red machine. He is a rookie in our sim, but he did not actually make it to the majors until 1970. He gets traded to the Cardinals, and he goes right to single A ball which is probably where he should be. Um, but he was batting 284. And how was his defense? He's always a great defender. Ooh. Well, 12 errors, but his um, defensive range is 14.5, and his war is 1.7, which is awesome. That is excellent. Okay, and then in return, they're giving up uh, Jim Dwyer. He had a long career. Uh, didn't make it to the majors until 1974. That's a 75 rookie card. And then we have um, Tim Plodinick, so anonymous he doesn't even have a card. And Charlie Hudson, this guy, um, hmm. single A. Okay, let's pull up the box score and get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and or subscribe. Uh, we do have a lot of videos <laughs> that, that I've uh, put up today. If you have time to watch them, I appreciate it if you do. Like and or subscribe. That's always nice as well. Um, player of the game. I mean, Pepitone had three hits, but Tommy Agee had the big one. The Grand Slam, um, part of the six-run comeback inning. Uh, he did officially get the game-winning RBI, his 10th of the year as well. Uh, his 17th home run. Patek and Hegan had doubles. Pedro Ramos gets his first win. He's 1-0. Great job in middle relief. I feel like I did the right thing, pulling Bob Meyer, uh, although we did give up the run to tie the ball game. Diego Segui does his gerb. Dave Moorhead, he threw 150 pitches, um, and they showed him no mercy. Uh, Tom Bergmeyer came in and closed it out. So, Okay, that's going to do it for today. We're going to come back tomorrow with Game 3 of the three-game series. Until then, everyone, have a great day.